Hey guys, good evening. This is a special video because um, yesterday I hit 500 subscribers. Now I'm at like 511, maybe 512, but I still thought 500 was a perfect number to commemorate because I feel like we've come a really long way together. For years, I used to um, share art interviews, artist interviews on my channel, maybe um, recorded panels every now and then, but my update sch schedule was really sporadic, um, and I don't think I ever got above like 23 subscribers. And then in November, I got really serious about updating the YouTube channel frequently and trying to make good content and um, just trying to to uh, fill a need that I think is still there, especially since many of my readers had told me that they'd like to see some video portions to some of the projects that I'd worked on. So um, from November to now, I know, what, 430 approximate viewers gained? I know that's not a big gain in terms of some channels, but I'm excited about it. I'm happy about it. So I wanted to celebrate it. And um, so I thought I was going to hand letter a piece for you guys. Now I already sketched it out because um, that takes a while and I thought you guys might find that boring and I'm trying to do this all in one take as a thank you um, so I can get it up as quick as possible because I'm also trying to work on um, having a mixture of edited curated content and sort of off-the-cuff vlogs um, although I don't intend to do the vlogs as often as many artists do um, simply because you know uh, most of the time I'm just a comic artist working in her studio I'm not necessarily doing a whole lot but I still wanted to share this milestone with you guys today because y'all are the reason it happened. So thank you very much. Oh shoot, look how much that smeared because it got underneath my ruler. Aw. Oh wow. It's just meant to be a kind of a sketch anyway. So I'm going to uh, ink this little 500 uh, followers commemorative thing and try to make cognizant conversation while I do so because I got to do this in one take and uh, my ink is definitely leaking underneath my ruler so clear t-squares with no lifts not so great maybe let's try flipping it over so that um, it's raised a bit and see if that doesn't help so I have found when well, I yeah that helps a lot so flip it over if you're if you're doing something similar to this where you need a straight edge and you're using a brush pen instead of using the edge that has the bevel edges up turn it over so that there's a lip and um, I am not a calligrapher my handwriting is pretty atrocious so this isn't meant to be anything like that it's just meant to be something cute for you guys um, and I'm using a Kuratake number no. 6. It's a double-sided brush pin. It's got two fairly large, juicy, expressive brushes in black and in gray. And I'm also using a Kuratake Fudego Kochi, which is kind of my standard. Now, for these sort of things where you're doing um, two colors, y you want to start with your lighter color and then put the ink for your darker color on top of that because otherwise um, the black is gonna run all over the place. And this is not um, really the right kind of paper for it, which I mean, it's not a complaint, it's just a statement. I'm using a regular sketchbook to do this in. So there are gonna be streaks, but that's okay. Um, you can minimize your streaks by working fast. You want, as long as your ink is wet, you're not gonna get too many streaks, but you know, if you do get streaking, it's not really a big deal on this kind of a piece. Now, if you want to completely eliminate streaking, you could work on um, Yupo, I suppose, um, or you could work on uh, like a vellum. And I actually have some ink tests coming up in the next few months. Well, they're marker and paper tests. I've already recorded a majority of them. They just need to be edited, but um, I, can't, I can't see them getting knocked out too soon because I have a couple of conventions coming up but soon we'll get to talk about that again about what papers work well with what inks now I am trying to keep my strokes roughly in the same direction so 
so those videos are just one of the many many things I have coming up in uh, upcoming months I recently launched a patreon and don't worry this isn't this isn't just like a long ad for that I promise um, in my subscribers uh, pledge to the 15 well we're at like $28 um, which means uh, you guys, everyone, gets to see March's unboxing for Art Snacks and uh, Sketchbox, and I'm really excited about that. And I think I mentioned why I'm so excited about that in my Patreon video, but the um, March Art Snacks is for... Um, I also subscribe for their, like, uh, every, like, four times a year they do kind of like a a premium kind of box, a studio box, and this one is for hand lettering. And I don't do hand lettering a whole lot now that I've graduated from SCAD. It doesn't necessarily have a big place in the comics I make, but I enjoy doing it every now and then, and I thought that would be a great box to explore, especially because it comes with two weeks of Skillshare. Now, in March, I have two conventions. I have Comic-Con and MTAC, and they're going to kind of consume my entire month. And I'm also turning 30, on the 19th of March, so um, it would be nice to do something nice instead of all art all the time. So um, I have content prepared for you guys, but I can't see myself getting the Skillshare video uh, reviews up until April. So that is something to look forward to. If you've been thinking about taking Skillshare classes, I'll have a review on my experiences with that particular class um, in April. And um, I really, one of the goals I have for this channel is I'd like you guys to start talking to me more about what you want to see, about what you, what kind of things you want to learn, um, if there are particular materials you guys are interested in. I have a stockpile in my review closet of things I want to review for you guys but I also want some input from you guys as to what you are most interested in seeing. Um, so as a way of celebrating both my upcoming birthday and 500 subscribers, if you guys have a minute, could you take, you know, a few minutes and just like write, I don't know, like three or four sentences, maybe a paragraph about yourself so I can get to know you better? Um, and uh, I guess I can do the same verbally since you know we're kind of we're kind of here together right now uh, so I'm Becca Hilburn I'm from a little town in Louisiana about 40 minutes out of New Orleans it's called Luling um, when I was a girl I was kind of discouraged from going into the arts um, both by my parents and by the school I attended um, I was never really considered particularly adept at drawing and that was something that really bothered me and I wanted to um, I really wanted to write comics but the friend who was going to draw them with me flaked and so I started studying art and illustration in eighth grade and just kind of kept at it um, when I graduated from Hanville I attended the University of New Orleans with a full ride scholarship uh, that was because uh, of, it's called TOPS, and it's a Taylor um, scholarship. It was put out by the Taylor family. Um, and it's basically just to help educate kids in Louisiana affordably. So I have no, <laughs> I'm fortunate in that I have no student debt. Um, after I graduated from the University of New Orleans, and um, I went there to, um, well, okay. So at this point, I'm going to start the black outlines because I've got the gray already. Actually, I can, I want to do some like accent gray here and there because I think that'll look good. So um, I went to UNO uh, because they were going to start an illustration program and then Hurricane Katrina hit and uh, that just didn't happen. So I have a bachelor's of science in uh, fine art, which doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, so after after you know, I applied to the graduate program, the sequential art graduate program at SCAD. I was accepted. So I have an MFA in comics, and that's like the highest degree you can get in comics. Or uh, well, yeah, 
in comics specifically. If I really wanted to, I could go back and um, get a doctorate in like comics history. And that might be something I do later on down the line, but I can't see having a doctorate in comics particularly helping my career other than getting to tell people I am a doctor of comics, which would be pretty dang cool. Uh, I grew up as, I mean, as a teenage girl, I read a lot of um, manga. That was what got me interested in comics to begin with. Um, in growing up in kind of a podunk area, we didn't have a lot of choice in comics, and at the time, they might be a little bit better, but I don't have any reason to believe they are due to personal experience. Um, the library system in Luling did not have any comics pretty much whatsoever. So my experience with comics it was just like Marvel and DC, which I never really liked. So it wasn't until manga got popular over here that I got into comics. And I got into comics in a big way because I really enjoyed the art style. And it reminded me of the stuff I loved as a, as a kid. And of course, lo and behold, the stuff I loved that it loved as a kid turned out to be like Americanized anime, which I mean, most of you guys aren't going to have experience with that kind of thing because it's kind of an 80s phenomenon, and I'm not sorry to see it gone. So I have always had a big affection for like big air, big eyes, big hair, that kind of stuff. Like ever since I was a super little kid. So the sort of work I make, I mean, I don't call the comics I make manga because they're certainly not, but they do have some of the same aesthetic choices that are common in like shoujo manga or really more so senin manga than shoujo. Um, I graduated from SCAD in... 2013 I believe I'd have to double check sometimes it feels like yesterday and sometimes it feels like 10 years um, and I have been freelancing for a couple of different companies as well as working on my own comics and um, attending conventions as a tabling artist to make ends meet and those of you who do that yourselves know it is not really much of a living <laughs> it is things are pretty tight like all the time I started reviewing art supplies, um, gee, probably about when I started attending SCAD because I noticed that um, a lot of my fellow s classmates at the time didn't really do much research when it came to supplies and they'd kind of use any old thing, And whereas I had like very set favorites. So um, I started writing about it. And I've been writing about it for a little over six years. I think this year is my seventh anniversary of writing the blog. Actually, I want a little bit of a fatter pen than that. Let's see what I got. And while I don't think the supplies make the artist, I definitely think finding supplies that work for you and not against you will make you enjoy what you do more. My primary media are um, watercolors, honestly, because I do a comic in full watercolor and I'm also illustrating a children's book freelance in full watercolor. But I think what most people know my blog for are my marker reviews. And I've been reviewing alcohol markers for three years now and I'm kind of tired of it. My favorite thing to review would probably be like consumer grade goods. So stuff intended for kids or stuff sold at like mass market retailers. And those are my favorite to review because they are the most accessible to any, any person off the street who decides they want to start doing this. And that's what I'm really passionate about. Um, I'm really passionate about art education because I didn't have access to quality art education, both um, when I was growing up and for a large portion of my undergrad and um, I had to teach my like I had to go home and look things up um, all the time just because there were massive gaps in my education so I am a huge 
fan of like accessible affordable art education especially since uh, schools are cutting the budget for that kind of stuff uh, more and more and I am both excited and terrified because by the time I'm 45 um, and some of you guys are uh, 35 you're gonna be way way better than me because you going you're going to have had access to all of the tools all of the knowledge um, and a lot of it is like free access because people are so will write about it online um, like you're gonna have access to better things than I had access to and that's really gonna make I mean I already really have to work um, but that's gonna make it even more pressure but I mean that benefits me too because I also can find that stuff online so I am really all about affordable art education and um, part of that was as I mentioned uh, the lack of it when I was growing up but also because I paid a lot of money to go to art school because I felt like I was really missing out on something and I felt like I was gonna get all of the education that I missed out on um, at SCAD and that I mean the first year was great but it like quickly tapered off and I've heard other people talk about having similar experiences and a lot of my friends are like massively in debt for the rest of their lives um, because of student loans so I, I feel like there needs to be an alternative and I want to help produce that alternative so even if it's just in a small way, that's what I want. The blog and the panels I do, and um, when I share my experiences with you guys, honestly, that's what I'm trying to accomplish, is I'm trying to help make art education something that everybody can have access to. At least some form of an art education. It is really hard <laughs> to hand letter. I'm just kind of like doing my best, but it's not turning out as cute as I had imagined. If I wasn't talking, I could do a lot better because um, when you letter, you want to pull your strokes with your, your breathing and talking just completely screws that up. Um, but I wanted to do this, so I'm not complaining. I'm just explaining. Wow, how many times am I going to say that in the course of this channel? So I look forward to making many, many more videos. I look forward to seeing this channel continue to grow over the years. I hope we can grow together. And I would really love it if you guys uh, took a minute and left a comment telling me about yourselves because I'd love to get to know y'all. Um, even if you're just like somebody who just wandered in or you're someone who's been watching for a while or if you're a reader and you started watching you know tell me those things because I would like to know I want to get to know you I want us to become friends so I'm gonna use some opaque white and that's dry It might reactivate it. Who knows? We'll find out together. And um, if you ever are at the same convention as me, you should come say hi and come talk to me about stuff because you know the reason I'm doing this and the reason I spend the time edit or we spend time editing the video and I spend time researching stuff is because I want to have a connection with you guys and this is my way of doing that I am grateful though because uh, YouTube you guys are way more willing to talk to me than the readers of my blog like it's like Cricketsville over there sometimes.
So I thought 500 was kind of a big deal. It's a big deal to me. Wanted to take a minute and celebrate it. I'm sure when we reach a thousand together, and then when we reach a hundred thousand eventually, ten years from now, who knows? Uh, I want to take time and celebrate those too. Because if you don't take time to celebrate even little victories, you're never going to take the time to celebrate the big ones. And I say that from personal experience because I've let so many important milestones just pass me by instead of making a big deal out of them the way I should have. I mean, even turning 30, that's like, a, that's a big deal. That's the oldest I've ever been. never been 30 before And uh, while I have y'all, one of the other things I want to do in the upcoming months is I want to start doing some giveaways. And I'm going to have to start kind of small because I don't have like this massive reserve to draw from. But hopefully we can uh, increase the awesomeness of what I'm giving away as the years go by. So thanks guys for 500 subscribers. Um, I am so glad that I got that we're going to get to know each other. I am so excited about the months to come. I can't wait to see how the channel grows and I I can't wait to see how our relationship blossoms. I'm Becky Hilburn. I am sincerely grateful for your support. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.